Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 12th of December, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Francis de Chantel. Saint Jane Francis de Chantel was born in a very affluent family in Belgium. Her daddy was the president of the Belgium Parliament. Her mother passed away when she was very young, just 18 months old she was. But she was tutored in the court uh, of uh, Belgium and therefore she had a really affluent childhood. At 21, she married Baron Christophe de Rodbin Chantal, who left her widow barely after seven years of marriage, leaving her with three young daughters and a son to look after. Pious as she was, humble as she was, her lifestyle was very austere. Jane exercised these virtues and at the age of 32, when she went to meet her father, she came in contact with Francis de Sales, St. Francis de Sales, who from that day became her spiritual mentor. On the persuasion of St. Francis de Sales, she after having settled her children, left everything and joined St. Francis de Sales uh, into a religious society. So the plan of St. Francis de Sales was this. For those women who for various reasons were not able to join okay, some really huge congregations, uh, well-known congregations, for them he started a congregation uh, with Jane D. Chantel as its head. Jane D. Chantel, who was also from the family of nobles, very well pruned and groomed the girls who came into that religious society. The motto of the religious society was basically to help the girls grow in the charism of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary into the charity and the corporal works of mercy. Having put her uh, affairs all into, uh, into stall, the affairs of her children and her family, she now was all into the work of God. It was at Annecy on 10th June 16. Then that the order of visitation of Our Lady was founded. They pronounced their first vows a year later, but a revision of the rule under the Bishop of Lyons was done. By the time of her death in Maulins, around 80 convents were present uh, of this congregation. Francis, in she grieved the death of her mentor Francis in 1622 and in 1627 lost her son in battle. She suffered the effects of a plague that ravaged France, experienced agonizing spiritual aridity and endured the torments of the dark night of the soul. Buried close to St. Francis de Sales at the visitation house at Annecy, Jane Francis de Chantal was beatified by Pope Benedict XV on 21st August 1751 and canonized by Pope Clement XIII on 16 July 1767. So dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the desire that Saint Jane Francis de Chantal, Jane de Chantal had for the Lord was huge. I, having herself engulfed with the tasks of the day, four children to take care, she left all of that, joined St. Francis de Chanta, St. Francis de Sales, and that's how she became a saint. In our life too, the Lord will send few people who will help us to grow spiritually. If we take their help, then the Lord will be able to help us and get us out of our little things into that great future, what He has kept installed for us. God bless us all.